the cans too available. Yeah. Cool. What are we doing today? What? What are we? Oh, doing we today? are live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't know for a second. Um, I really, I kind of know, but don't know. Yeah, we're mixing uh, corals, turquoise, navy, and purples. Very cool. So, um, have fun. Yay. Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Who are you? I'm Courtney. Where are we? We're at the Purple Paint. Oh, you can only see half of my shirt. I think that looks adorable. That's Thanks. fine. And we're, so we're at the Purple Painted Lady in. I'm gonna in turn this around. Man. Hi, everybody. I'm Trish. Courtney's gonna be doing the video. Um, we're we are in our Macedon location. We have multiple stores in Western New York. Mm -hmm. Flip this back over to you and your cute little glasses. Have and um, okay, so yeah. go right ahead, take it yeah. away. This so, table's so short. It's like I know it is. It makes me feel tall, though. So I'm okay with it. <laughs> this is good. Um, <laughs> we'll start off with one of the most common questions we get, which is how do we get a navy? So okay, we have a color called Napoleonic Blue. Which is it? Oh, can you see it? Yeah, no. It sometimes certain angles make it look a yeah. little bit deeper or darker. So I'll I'll tilt it, and then when it gets to the point on the camera where I'm like, sure. yeah, that's like what my eye's seeing. Like right there is really great. Yeah. So this is Napoleonic this Blue is... chalk paint by Yanni Sloan yep. in, in the, the leader leader. container. Yes. Okay. In the leader. It's a little bit. It's a. It's like a color of a blueberry. It is. Maybe not even as dark. So if somebody it wants it darker, and uh, they want to make a navy. How would they do How that? How would they do that? Annie actually has this fun trick for you guys. All you have to do is add a little bit of Barcelona orange okay. to the Napoleonic blue. And I mean just a little bit. Like this ratio here was three to one. Okay. And it you think it's that much normally it, too? Is that yeah, what they think? I think normally to get a navy, yeah, I would use this ratio. That is true. That's, That's a nice good. navy. Yeah. But it's a very contemporary navy. Yes. I think that is a very on uh, point in the sense of on trend mm -hmm. for kitchen cabinetry. Yeah. I mean, it's been doing that probably yeah. for about a year. That's beautiful with like copper. With white quartz countertops. Oh. Or I you can it. even okay. get butcher block countertops with Oh, that. I love butcher blocks. Those so, are beautiful. Okay, that's, that's beautiful. So, Nate, and again, navy is extremely hot. Yes. Yes. And uh, so can that's... You, can you actually set that back yes. down and set the... Um, Napoleonic blue sample board next to that sure. so we can just see both okay because that really does help pick up on then the difference yeah sure yeah. so I just want to make sure so the, the sample board is Napoleonic blue mm -hmm. chalk paint by Annie Sloan out of um, the leader containers which yeah. is okay um, what we have starting as of end of 2018 and then the recipe for the color swatch you made next to it to create more of a navy yeah was about three parts Napoleonic to one part Barcelona. Yeah. And when we say unit of measure, when we say parts, it doesn't matter if they're doing tablespoons, cups, cups. doesn't matter. Just keep it consistent. Keep it going, yeah. Okay, very cool. Uh, we did have a customer that I think you just spoke with that asked if they could create a navy using Napoleonic blue and graphite. Oh, good. So we thought we might as well bring that up in this live and see what we get. So we have the Napoleonic blue in the leader. We apologize for the pretty little <laughs> container, but this is sometimes what happens um, with, the, uh, with the truck and we just want to make sure that, you know, we use those up, so. Yeah, so they, instead of going to you guys, we use them here in our shop, so. Uh, I'm gonna do, what do you think, one to one? Is shaking? Yes. Okay. I just use that no, one. I don't know, I would actually just experiment with this. And actually use your fingerprint or like, Finger paint instead of worrying about doing it with the spoon. If you're good with that. Yeah, I'm good with it. I would just put two, I would put another spoonful of graphite there. Yep. And then you can have a bunch to pull from. It's all mixed up. I would start out with maybe a little bit and then go from there. Okay, so Napoleonic blue. I'm gonna just touch it. And some of the graphite. Maureen's saying that the black wax creates much of the same look on the Napoleonic blue in the leader without having to mix the paint. Which, you know what? I, I think that's. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with that too. The only time maybe that might be an issue, and let me just pull this. The only time that might be an issue is 
if somebody's doing maybe their dining room table and they're thinking they don't want to um, put maybe the black wax directly on the table because they're going to be scrubbing it on a regular basis. So if it's a dresser or if it's like an entertainment center, um, you name it, go for that. The black wax, I'm glad you brought that up um, because that's only needing two products versus buying two paint and then the wax. So it definitely will help you there. But if you're going to be doing a whole table and you need to, um, and something where you're going to be, I think, washing it or scrubbing it, yeah. even kitchen cabinets, you know, yeah. like doing the whole face of them. I just think sometimes it's easier to um, mix the color yourself and then just use your clear top coat. So Nancy said she would love to see us mix Florence with Provence or duck egg blue, needing um, less of a bright turquoise. So we'll take a look at that, okay? Like that I think I might have something for you, I promise. Okay. You have something up your sleeve? I have something you don't have up anything on your none of my sleeves. All right, my metaphorical sleeves. So I just mixed really a little tiny bit of graphite in with the Napoleonic blue. And I think I Ooh, got pretty darn close. I like that. You you like it? Yeah, I think I prefer the um, Napoleonic blue mm -hmm. and the graphite mix. Mm -hmm. I well, really so do there like you that. Go. So whomever was asking, it's more of a brighter navy. It is. It's a brighter navy. I think it would be great for like a Union Jack. I just think that. Looks nice and and you know, I kind of feel that the Napoleonic and the uh, and the uh, Barcelona, um, is starting to go sort of toward Abusan. It is. Yeah. Where I love this. So, I hey, like if you're looking for more of a true navy, and what there was your go. ratio? It was uh, probably a four-part Napoleonic blue to one-part graphite. So it was four just a to tiny one. bit. So about 25%. Yeah. Okay, so four to one. Yeah. Very cool. We'll go with that. Four to one. All right. So that is it for navies. If you guys have other combinations you want me to try, feel free to post them, and I can kind of create them probably later on. Yeah, so Kristen's saying, too, if you don't mind, while you're... I, if you don't mind multitasking. Yeah. Kristen's saying she would like to use, a, or she wants to have a dark green for one of her next projects. She's hoping you might be able to grab Amsterdam and add a little graphite to it afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. We do that. What are we going to do now? We're going to jump into the Feel free to put corals. those down if you need to. Yeah, so we'll see that, that we don't need this anymore. So corals, there's a few ways of approaching this. Um, there's no one right way. And no. if we, when we go through this, if somebody already hopefully owns some of the colors that are in one recipe yeah. versus the other, yeah. use what you already have. Use what you got. Use what you got. So we actually mixed a coral a while ago. Um, so this is one of our old sample boards. Um, and the ratio, I have it right here. Is that with the leader? This is with the quart. So you guys might have remembered this one. Oh, this is from... This, this is, is from, from 2016. Over... Look at that. It's almost three years. Throw it's a month away. Back. All right. So <laughs> you would have been what, like 14? I was, oh, I don't even, I don't know. Oh my gosh. That's I was funny. something like that. I have no idea. Um, so we did this on a very long time ago. And a lot of you guys have actually liked this, seeing this in the stores. And now that we've transitioned to leaders and some of the colors have shifted just a little bit, we decided to do this again so that we can really get you as close as we can to a coral. So, the one I mixed uh, just in preparation for today was actually the mixture that Annie Sloan came up with, which was one part Emperor's Silk to one part Tilton. Um, and mm. this kind of creates a, it's, it's a much darker coral. It's a darker coral. I would it's like to see that mixed coral. with a little pure white or old white. Yeah, absolutely. That would actually yeah. be pretty. So are we going to do that? We, hey. we have a couple of mixtures that I found actually that some of our customers did that I thought were amazing. So some of these are actually on our website. We some posted these, these years on our ago. Yeah. So we're, for this first one, we're going to use Barcelona Orange, Emperor Silk, and Pure White. Go for it. So something very similar to what you have. Do you have Tilton over here also then? I, I do have Tilton. Yeah. Because I'd like to see Annie's recipe with a little white in it. Yeah, we can well, you can even do it right on her paper. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have Barcelona Orange. I love Barcelona. Yeah. Do you want me to move this so you have yeah, more workspace? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Thanks. I know people appreciate looking at the table, seeing it neat and organized, but they really was 
They, they, really want, want, to they the want to see the real thing. Just get on with the they mixing the as if they're right here in a paint lamp with us. That's right. So for this recipe, it was actually equal parts of all colors. So I'm going to just dab relatively equal parts. I'm going to eyeball it like I usually do. Yeah. Oh, I did grab them. They're right here. Okay. So that's the Emperor's Silk. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're trying to do equal parts, is that your your thought? Yeah. Okay. That's what this, I don't remember the person's name. That's what she did. So that's what we're going to do. And this actually created a very beautiful coral. So. Grab one of my paint brushes. I like that. I'm trying to get from different angles. Oh yeah, are you getting a glare on there? Okay, so that's using that was using the Barcelona, the Pure, and the Emperor's Silk. Mm -hmm. And so just to see the contrast, the difference there. It it is it is a that seems a little bit more. It's a little orangey. A little orangey, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if I was to do this. I would try it again, and I wouldn't use as much Barcelona. Yeah. I would probably not do equal parts. Um, you could mix the pure and the emperor silk, and I would. Do you mind doing that? Just use your fingers really quick, yeah, if you so. want, and then. And then before you add the Barcelona orange, mix those together, yeah, so. and I think you're going to use a lot less Barcelona than you have on your finger. Okay, ready? Yeah. Probably was still a little too much. I kind of feel like that's being a little bit. Hmm. I like Annie's better. <laughs> Good job, Annie. <laughs> Imagine <Woo>! that. <laughs> Good job, Annie. <laughs> Why? Of course we would. Of course she we is like the master Annie. of this. So I mean, she's the master of chalk paint. So I wouldn't. You know what? Do you have Tilton open here? Yeah. I'd love to see that her color with. A little, a little bit, bit of the of white maybe mixed in. And you could just dab your fingers right into the, the containers. Cool. And, and some else is the color coral is beautiful. Yes, uh, Anne. And Marianne, Marianne in Syracuse wants to give a shout out to Karen, who's in Village or who's in Baldwinsville. We probably then should give a shout out to Anne and Lori in Greece and Luke and Laura in Village Gate, because uh Village Gate is definitely, it's opened almost every day of the week. We want to make sure we account for everyone out here. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of our team in our Macedon location. So she, Marianne mentions that black wax over colors will definitely give you a similar effect as if you mix graphite with them. Yes. And we absolutely agree. We totally agree with that. The only time maybe you might want to consider... Um, I think an alternative of adding the graphite is if you are going over a surface that you know you're going to need to scrub on a regular basis. Yes. That's so, the lighter version of Annie's. Yep. That is Tilton, Emperor Silk, and Pure. Yeah. So in my opinion, of the colors you've mixed, that Annie's recipe is really going in the right direction. It's actually very close to what we already had. Yeah, and you probably could get that somewhere in the middle because that's oh, yeah. like right in the center. So, okay. So, Emperor Silk and Tilton really is the most popular, we think, or the one I think that's... so. Okay. Yep, I would think so. Okay. Uh, do we want to do one with English yellow? You want to go on to teals? Um, let's do some teals. If somebody wants us to try yeah. another coral with a different color, they can leave a comment. Beautiful. Okay. Next, we have teals. Okay, so I prepped two uh, as I was talking to Hannah, who is from our Masson location yesterday. She had one that she really wanted to see, which was Aubusson Blue and Florence. So we actually had, she had a customer call her looking for a dark but bright teal. Um, so Aubusson was a little bit too, I'm not, not dull, but not as bright as she wanted. And Florence was a little bit too light, so she wanted to tone it down a little bit. So 
Hannah recommended she mix the Aubusson Blue with the Florence One to One to get this darkened teal, which I kind of like. I think it's very pretty. What would happen if you mixed? This is totally crazy. Antibes, <laughs> Antibes Green. Guess what? With we're Aubusson. We're gonna. Oh, Aubusson. I have it with Florence. I did not have it with Aubusson. Well, we, we just did that. a we just did a post this morning mm -hmm. um, on Facebook and Instagram of a dresser that was done one to one with Florence and Antibes. Yes. And it's a beautiful color. You can still do that. Mm -hmm. but I'm just curious, Aubusson and Antibes. Let's get going. Cool. Do you need me to clean up any of this while you're doing that? Are you okay? I can just move everything. I would just throw the lid like under the table thingy. No worry about it. That's what we're gonna do. Just don't don't put it near me because you know I'd probably kick it over. <laughs> no, that's Brittany's job. So what's everybody doing for the weekend? I'm gonna flip around. Oh, what are you guys doing? This yeah, we you know we're gonna be getting ready for the um, Rochester Home Show. It's in two weeks. It's here in New York. Um, we're excited. We're actually the main feature on the. Um, and the main level, I like to say we're the, we're like a little fish, you know, swimming in the ocean, but all the big fish are up there. So we are ecstatic and we have this amazing layout. Um, so I'm just trying to keep you busy as Courtney, as Courtney opens her containers. As I open my goodies. I'm going to tell you for a kitchen combination, I think having pure white on top. And then Abusan. the Abusan on the base would be amazing. I love that. Yes. We're going to finger paint. Don't, don't worry about being messy. Oh, you know me. Okay. So we'll do, you want to do a one-to-one? -one? Sure. Sure. As I do it with my fingers. I'm just curious. Yeah. Well, that's just a green blue. Pass that along. <laughs> Thank you for entertaining me. It was a one-to-one. -one. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Who asked for that? Who asked for that? Yeah, we'll skip right. that one. Uh, let's see. Florence and Antibes. You said we posted something about that so we could actually see that color. Yeah, but you can actually still do it. Do don't, still don't, do it? I don't want to rain on your parade. You I have that know. plan. I, have a, I think I have a better one. Do you have wet wipes anywhere? I have an entire stack. Can you just bring them out because I got a little messy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. You touch and got paint on your hand. Okay, so we're going to do actually a lightened version of what you posted. So we're actually going to do Florence, Antibes, and Pure White. So, let's get this out. Let's move this to the side. Hmm. Ginger says she's house shopping and biscuit baking over the weekend. I want to, so. can I be there when you biscuit bake? And then Dart James is retirement planning. Ah! I'm like envious. I love it. I love it. I don't, although I don't know if I'll ever retire. There's too many things I still want to do. <laughs> okay, so Florence. You'll Florence is a great that. color, um, but you know what? Um, mm -hmm. Nancy Graco was saying Florence is too green for her, and oh, Provence too is too blue. Uh -huh. So, so maybe at some point we could we all mix the two, and maybe come up with, and, and maybe not one to one, maybe just yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a one to one ratio of all of these three colors. Okay. I just like watching the swirl. Ginger wants to know, did they stop making a meal? No, not at all. We no, have no, a meal. No, 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 we have a meal. Um, I've been getting questions about when we're going to cover a meal in the uh, color drifting that's happening because we've done Facebook videos about that. Uh, we do not have a meal leaders in just yet. We're hopefully going to do that, I'm guessing, when I get back. Yeah, but a meal is totally available still, and yeah, we, we have, don't even we know if the court, and there's uh, plenty of it. Oh, yeah. If you want to purchase a meal, don't hold back. Don't hold back. We got a lot of the meal. You can have it all. So there is Florence, Antibes, and Pure White. That's just a lightened version of what you posted this morning. So I, I actually really enjoy that. Um, I'm sorry, what was that other well, combination? This, this, Provence and... This isn't the what I posted this morning. No, it you has were... no white in it. Can you please yes. just do Florence, or Florence and Antibes one-to-one -one with no white? Sure. I know that you were doing this for something else, but I... Oh, perfect. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're like, I'm not there yet. I promise I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to focus on this color. Mm -hmm. um, definitely is more for St. Patrick's Day. I like it. It is green, though. It is. Yep. There you go. That's mixed one-to-one, -one, huh? Yep. Oh, it's, there's a little antique swirl in there, but, you know. So you're a little artistic flair? My little artistic flair. Yay. 
Okay. And I'm sorry, we were looking at Provence and Florence, right? Um, yeah, let's play with that. Feel free. Okay, shake Provence because I have not shaken it yet today. Get your workout in. Gotta do it. Gotta so do it. So tell me what's going on with you. You're getting ready to go on vacation? I'm going on vacation. Who gets a vacation around here? What is up Nobody. With that? <laughs> Nobody. We stay right here. We live here. We live. Well, yeah. We are always here waiting for you to call us to help you. We're just here all the time. Make sure everyone goes on vacation out. except me. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Okay, um, so she was saying she felt that the Florence mm -hmm. is a little too green. Okay. I believe. And mm -hmm. that she felt that her boss is too blue. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm actually going to do it right on... And you know, when I'm holding the, the phone, the camera at this angle, I feel like the colors are, are really oh, yeah. quite that correct here. That looks good. Okay. That's very good. So are we at paper? What, are, what are, we, are we short on paper? Don't be so conservative. Do you want to... Let's get a new one. Amy! Amy, do you mind bringing us some printer paper but the cardstock? Uh, I have all my color swatches on the floor right now. That's fine. I'm gonna track paint all over the shop. It would look better than it our tile great. floor. I'm gonna have foot prints of just paint. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, Florence. Sure. <laughs> sure. Provence. And so our 1978 Volkswagen bus is yes. basically Provence. I'm excited so for that. Cool. All right. There's one. To That's one. one to one. Let's yeah. let's mix it and then we'll do one maybe heavier with Provence. I don't know if that even really. It did tone down the Florence, but Gotta I don't add know. Some more Provence. I don't know who was it. Let me go back through. Ah, uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch. I like mixing cocoa with Florence to tone down the Florence. Florence is one of my favorite mixes. Oh, that's according to Ann. Although Ann, our cocoa comes in next week, so we don't have that available at the moment. <laughs> um. Oh, it was Nancy. She oh, wrote man. Florence with Provence. Or duck egg blue, needing less bright of a turquoise. And I don't know, I don't think oh, it would be... Okay, I actually already have a mixture for this. You do? I do. You are so prepared. I do. <laughs> I try. Um, okay, we actually had a customer come in yesterday, and she said she thought the Provence was too bright. So what she did is she actually mixed some Chateau Grey in there and turned it, tuned it down a little bit. She actually did this on her kitchen cabinets at her she cottage. Did. And it she had the best fantastic. tile. Tell you what, we'll post a photo of her kitchen beneath this Facebook Live once we're done yeah. and we um, upload oh, have it. Have I have a whole bunch, remember? Ooh. She draw, air dropped Oh, that's them. right. We had to figure out how to air drop And her tile was amazing. Spectacular. So if you want Provence to tone down a little bit, you can always add a little bit of Chateau Grey in there. Nancy, how do you feel about that? Let us know. How you feeling, Nancy? How you feeling? Okay. okay. So the last mix that we had planned for today was purples, because we're the purple painted lady. And that just makes sense. So the logical mix was Emperor Silk in Napoleonic Blue. So I did that as a one-to-one. -one. That's a great one. You could also use Greek blue. That looks almost black the way I have this right here. It does. It. That, um, that's a very dark ar aubergine. And yeah. this is the sample board from that. Is that correct? This one uh, here? This one? This one is Emperor Silk, Napoleonic, and Greek blue. Yeah. So, so it's a little bit of a warm... Well, yeah, a little bit of a warmer tone. To it. Um... I, I sometimes feel though, you know, if you don't, if you're looking for more just of a, I have a post on our website. Mm -hmm. oh, geez, you really can't search by the word purple because every article <laughs> has the word the every purple painted lady. Purple Can you it. hold Rodmel next mm -hmm. to those? Because, sure. I mean, honestly, if they're looking for a purple, what about Rodmel mixed with a little graphite to darken it? Because yeah. Rodmel is purple. To me, it's a smoky plum. Yeah. Honestly, this is a beautiful color. I love these. Yeah. I love that. I love them. So, okay, so you are trying, you're going to start mixing some. I'm going to start mixing a little bit. So, we're going to do. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to do Emperor Silk and Greek Blue, which actually I think you just said was oh, a okay. good mix. So, 
we're gonna do that. So we got Emperor Silk. I'm gonna get my little tiny sample, Greek Blue. And these are from the liter containers, so these are the... I almost feel like you need to wipe your fingers really good. Look at you. I know. Wipe really good so you're not contaminating your colors. Oh, feel free, and you know what? Feel free to bring those up because then afterwards we'll clean this. Don't put your lid back on your container <laughs> if you're dripping paint like this. Okay? Well, I so am a stickler. Like, I'm stuck. like always yelling, like, who put the lid back on and left this paint on the reservoir? That's an OCD thing of me. Because mm -hmm. then it's just going to dry and, and drip, just get crusty and go back in your paint. So I don't care if you're using Lowe's latex paint, Home Depot paint, chalk paint. You got to clean the lid. Okay, so Seaweed. you just did Greek blue and Emperor Silk. Okay, I'm ready. Mm. <laughs> I think you need to go a lot heavier with the Greek blue. That color doesn't very isn't appealing to me. No. Well, the emperor still just kind of took over that one. I don't like that color. It's like a smoky purple. Well, I think it's the more you mix it, it's starting to. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. If you're looking for a smoky color, I actually color. think it could be potentially a good color. If and you, oh, see, so you know what it is? The red is dried on the paper. I don't think that's a good example. I, I think that color. This is live, folks. Totally live. I don't like that color. Just throw that paper away. And we'll, throw it away. We'll delete. We'll splice this out of the video. So you people saw are, nothing. So people are watching it live. You saw you nothing. All right. I'm like, I don't like that color. We try sometimes. All right. We got Emperor Silk now, and we have some Giverny. So, um, Sharon McNeil saying, come this way and do a weekend workshop. So um, On vacation? <laughs> so Where are you at, yeah, Sharon? Let us where know where you, you are. Courtney has a car. We'll travel. Uh, Courtney has a car. We'll Amber, go. I do have a post about different purples. And you know what? Once we're done, we'll add photos under this post. And I'll do some links back to the uh, website articles. So, And Ginger, you are right. Those purples... That does look like eggplant. It does. It's like so, a nice but I mean, it, it is in the purple family. It's not quite, actually, let me see your shirt. Turn around. So it's not quite purple, like our purple painted lady shirts. Yeah. Um, but I think it's more of actually more of an adult sophisticated purple. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not that we're not, the brand logo is not being like adult or sophisticated, but it is a real purple. I'm not adult or sophisticated. Yes, you are. Okay, so um, you just did Emperor Silk and Giverny. That is going in the same direction, I think, as Rodmel. It's more of a smoky, smoky. Yeah, I think that that's actually. Is, is that hold better? on a second. Nope, uh, just uh. keep it still. There you go. Can you see it now? I don't know why that looks like the color a mother in law's dress of a wedding would be to me. A what? <laughs> Like, like, I can see, like, the mother of the bride. Or, oh, oh. I don't know why, just wearing that color. Okay, let's keep moving so we don't bore everybody. Let's, let's, that's, that's all I had. Do you have any That's other all you have? I'm I just joking. I had two per, uh, two per go. I really two. think out of all these that we mixed today, the navies were one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, I'm a green person, so I like the greens. Okay, very cool. But yeah. Um, you know, do you, we're, we're at the end, do you have Amsterdam available over here? Can you mix? Uh, oh, Amsterdam and graphite, right? Yeah. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> a lot of people keep saying <laughs> that if it's you fine. use the black wax over a color, that it really will give you sort of a similar outcome. Mm -hmm. But in some cases, people might not want to use the black wax. For example, I don't know personally. I, I, when I do chairs, I like to just n use. The clear wax on chairs, especially dining room chairs. Well, um, if you want more of a uniform color over all of it. Yeah, I agree. Although, you know, it, it does sort of, we always use the analogy of a, a wedding veil with the white wax. Mm -hmm. And I do kind, I do feel that if you use the black wax all over, you, you, if you use straight, go straight to the black wax, you're definitely going to get more of that uniform look. Mm -hmm. um, but sure. on certain, on functionality of certain pieces... Like a dining room chair, I just 
I like to do more of the paint mix and stick with the clear wax. Sure. Why don't you tell us what you're doing? We had a customer. Do you remember her name? Oh, I don't. Okay. You're setting me up. <laughs> we deal with a lot of people in a day. Um, a customer asked about doing Amsterdam with a little bit of graphite to darken. Oh, it, here. So. You mean right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you meant this was something that we dealt oh, with no, this no, no, week. No, 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 no. We do answer a lot of questions on we the do phone. We answer a lot of questions. So we're just going to do a smidge of graphite. Shoot. I think it... Is it Amanda? No. Oh. It was Kristen. Kristen. I was just thinking of you guys. She's doing a darker green. What about Amsterdam? With a touch of graphite. Okay, I put a touch of graphite in there, and it, it, it not much has happened. Oh, I, I, oh, do you think? Hmm. Why don't you add more graphite? We're gonna add more graphite. Just, just pull it over from your brush if you want. Oh, you're so cute. No, no, no. We, we're, we're neat here. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're trying to fool. <laughs> That's definitely darker. Yeah. Okay, Kristen, so I think you're going in the totally right direction. You got it, girl. Run with it. So that's Amsterdam with more graphite. Yes. Yeah. Can so, you hold so. it vertical? Yeah. It looks like a looks like a polar bear. It looks like a oh <laughs> don't move. Oh my goodness, that's just so hysterical. Okay, so the, the Amsterdam with a touch of graphite definitely graphite. makes it darker. Yes, yeah, so if you want a darker green, you can go with graphite in your Amsterdam. Okay, so all joking aside, we were kind of goofy. Um, I mean, it's Friday. <laughs> it's been a long week. Every, but, you know, we work every day with the weekend, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> to be honest doesn't with you. Mean <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. I think we're almost having a pity party for ourselves here. Um, I'm going to turn this around. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this so you, way you can. Howdy. There's Courtney. Um, geez, I hope these are helpful and that we're not just <laughs> goofing around. Although, you know what? We appreciate it. Um, Nancy was saying she doesn't live near a retailer. I mean, this is this is her experience of getting to see the colors and to see mixing. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a local stockist, go visit them. You know, everybody. Um, so helpful. We're all trained. We want to help you. Um, and we, if you have someone local, make them your best friend, take a workshop with them. If you don't have someone near you and you have questions, we're always available. Give us a call. I think we've, I don't know how many calls we fielded this morning for people who had questions. Yeah. Um, if you like what you're seeing, I know it sounds crazy and Facebook, um, you know, has all these crazy algorithms. I will never act like I know how to figure those out <laughs> because they change. But it really does help us if you if you like these videos to like it, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. The more comments and interaction you have um, in a Facebook Live, the more likely Facebook will um, share it and in, in the feed. And so we greatly appreciate that. What else do we want to talk about? If you're, I mean, if you're getting bored, tune off. But we have some. Uh, any other news? Anything else in the sense of Grand colors? Yeah, we got home show. Oh, if you, um, we've had a couple of people call regarding some colors that we don't have in just yet, like Coco and, and all of that. Jazz. Coco and Paris um, Gray is going to be here next week. Yes. I mean, that's going to be like March uh, 13th. Yes. So if you guys subscribe into our text alert system, we can actually use that to alert you when the products could come available again. So if you're wanting to place an order... That's backwards because I have this. Hold on a second. Oh, is it backwards? <laughs> one, there two, you go. One, seven, so that's great because what t the whole little 74121. Yeah, so... What I, do you, where do you enter that? You enter that when you're composing a text message where the phone number that you'd be texting... Like with an area code and everything? Would be 74121. It's, just it's five short, digits. I know, but it will work. Okay. And you text the word chalk paint, all one word, lowercase. Okay. You'll get a confirmation text. So if, if somebody's been waiting for the Coco Paris Gray and they're yes. like, when's it back in stock? When's next it going to come in? We'll shoot you guys a text when it's back in stock. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, anything else? I don't think so. So you're going on vacation. You're, go you're leaving when? I'm leaving on Tuesday. What's that? March 11th? March 12th. 12th. 
And you're gone for about a week, week and a half? About a week. And um, where are you going? I'm going to South Lake Tahoe, California. You're so funny. And who are you visiting? Uh, my boyfriend, Jack. You're so cute. Yeah. Um, okay, just come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get on that plane and be like, <laughs> You're so funny. No, I'll come back. Um, I also want to talk about... We have a YouTube channel. Yeah. If, go look at the YouTube channel. We have at least, I don't know how many, how many videos out there? 60 videos? Oh, a lot. I mean, how do you do a wash? How do you do a dry brush? How do you apply gilding? How do you apply metallic foil? Can you do a transfer? Yeah. Can you um, show me how to gold, gold leaf? Mm -hmm. Can you show me how to apply dark wax? What's the difference of using dark wax over chalk paint directly or chalk or dark wax over clear wax? on your chalk paint. How do you apply milk paint? Can you use um, dark wax as a glaze? Can you uh, stain a table with dark wax? I mean, there's a lot. There's the a lot. the videos that are available on YouTube and we constantly are making more are so helpful. So when you go to the YouTube uh, um, website, just search by the Purple Painted Lady. Like I said, we have at least 60 videos, so usually at least maybe 8 or 10 pop up, and then it says, show all. Make sure you click on that. So, yeah. blending colors are my problem, says Shy. Shy, you just need to give yeah. us a list of the colors you want us to mix, and we'll, we'll keep helping you. Yeah. And if you're talking about blending as in like an ombre, we do have a video on there for an ombre as well, so you can look at that up. Yeah, and then also Nancy's asking about, are there any projects using metal or formica? I have uh, posts on my website about painting over Formica. I've done it many times. Um, not kitchen countertops. I have painted over Formica uh, dresser tops, um, but I, I typically don't paint the countertops. Some people do. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, you can absolutely paint metal. Um, I don't think we have a post out there, but maybe we should paint the metal cabinet that the candles are in. Mm -hmm. We could do a whole video on that. And yeah. you can totally do that. Yeah. Okay, say goodbye to your mom, and then we're going to... Goodbye, Mom. I'll see you in a couple hours, and happy birthday. You're so cute. Hey, and Patty, if you want to make a glaze using the um, wax and mineral spirits, um, it, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but there's no right or wrong. You could go heavier with the odorless mineral spirits or enviro the environmentally um, green mineral spirits because it, we don't have them. No, we have them. Yeah, so... This is what you need. Yeah, those, that's the uh, clean strip mineral spirits. That's the one we like to use. So, Okay. Happy birthday, Amy. Bye, guys.